so far in section 3 of module 4 we've checked out where the dealer has to obtain registration in case he has separate units in different states or separate units within the state and in case he has separate business segments it's now that we are trying to solve the confusion of where the location of a supplier of services would be now that's a confusing point so the law has laid down three specific locations in case of supplier of services the first and primary location would be if the supply is made from a place of business for which the registration has been obtained then the location of supplier would be such place of business in case he's made a supply from a place other than the registered location then the location would be a fixed establishment other than the place of business which is a fixed establishment what if the supplier of services has supplied from more than one location whether it's from his place of business or fixed establishment the location would be of that place which is most directly concerned with the provision of supply if you are a doctor you are providing service from your clinic in bangalore which is your registered place of business then that will be your location in case you are not providing services from your clinic in bangalore but in mysore and you have not taken registration from that place but you have a fixed clinic then that will be your location it's your fixed establishment in case you're providing services from both these places but predominantly from mysore then that's the location which is most directly concerned with the provision of services and that's going to be your location in the absence of any such place that is you have not obtained registration you do not have a fixed establishment then the location would be the usual place of residence of the supplier so you have three places which could turn out to be the location of supplier of services the place of business fixed establishment and usual place of residence we've already seen what a place of business is it is a place where the business is ordinarily carried on whether it's the warehouse go down or any place where goods are stored received or provided or it could be a place where the person is maintaining his books of accounts or where he is dealing with through an agent the next definition that we need to know is that of a fixed establishment it is a place other than the place of business that's an important point if you have a place of business it has to be a separate location other than the place of business which can be characterized by a sufficient degree of permanence what does this mean you have a clinic in mysore so you have a building you can characterize that as a degree of permanence and it has to be accompanied with suitable structures in terms of human and technical resources which is capable to supply services or to receive services and use such services for its own need so you have a clinic you have a building in mysore but there is nobody working inside there are no systems nothing going on then you can't characterize that as a fixed place of business you have a clinic you have support staff nurses you have a lab and there's ongoing business of supply of services then that place can be characterized as a fixed establishment the last definition that we should know is the usual place of residence in this case for an individual person it would very logically be the place where he ordinarily resides you have a home in bangalore you stay there with your family that's your usual place of residence for a person a taxable person other than individual the place would be where the person is incorporated or otherwise legally constituted suppose a company has obtained incorporation in bangalore then the usual place of residence for such a company would be bangalore so you should also know what 
the term person includes there are 14 things that person could include individual huf firm llp and so on which is very similar to the definition of person under the direct tax law so that's about it regarding the location of supplier of services which we've seen in detail and we come to the end of section 3 where we understood the place from where a person is supposed to take registration in case of multiple state wise location or in case of multiple business verticals and we've also understood the concept of location of supplier of services in the next section of module 4 we'll be dealing with the process involved in obtaining registration